to understand cancer, we have to go back in time, long, long ago, to the very start of our life. All human life forms start from a sperm and an egg. The two combine to make a cell. From this one cell, a whole baby is born. And that's how life starts. Now, this one fertilized cell makes all kinds of other cells. And these cells make different organs. So the brain, the heart, the lungs, the liver, the stomach, spleen, bones, the eyes, and many, many more are made from that one cell. Please note that every one of these cells has a specific function which contributes to the collective survival of the body. So the eye cells see, the ear cells hear, the lung cells breathe, and they all help the body survive. Now, come to think of it, the human body is very much like the human society. So a man and a woman, Adam and Eve, dad and mom, they come together and they make a baby. So all babies start life from a very neutral position, just like that fertilized cell from which the whole body grows. The babies, they start from the same point, but over time they grow to do a specific job which helps contribute to the survival of the human society. So somebody becomes a police officer, joins the fire brigade, joins the military, becomes a doctor or nurse, or becomes a chef. Now, this is the norm of the human society. But every now and then, the norms of the society break down. And a grown-up baby, instead of becoming a functional member of the society, decides to become a criminal. A criminal breaks the rules and laws of the society. They do not contribute to the society. They steal from others and only care about their own survival at the expense of others. The same thing happens in our body. So in the human body, cells divide to make functional organs and tissues like ears and eyes. But every now and then, there's an abnormal cell growth. And the cells, they become criminal. These criminal cells are known as cancer cells. They only grow for themselves and do not contribute to the health. Now note that this doesn't happen overnight. This is a slow process. And this gap from a normal to a cancer cell is where we can prevent, treat, and cure cancer. And we'll talk about it. Let's go back to our community of professionals, with doctors and nurses and farmers and artists, and of course, the occasional criminal. Now, the human community does not like criminals and they have a system of law and order in which they catch the criminals and the criminals are punished. Once these criminals are caught, they are brought to justice, they are put behind bars, but before that is done, there's a check and balance system. You have got lawyers and courts who decide whether these criminals deserve a punishment or not. And the same rule applies to the human body. The human body also has a special system maintained by cells which keep the law in order in our body. And this security system identifies the criminal cancer cells and punishes them. It might come to you as a surprise that every day hundreds of cancer cells are born in our body and our amazing body kills them all, making us completely cancer free. It is actually quite rare for a cancer cell to survive and grow. Our bodies are really incredible. Not only they kill cancer, they kill most of them at a very early stage. Believe me, when it comes to our body, we are all superheroes. And there's a lot we can do to help this superhero fight all diseases, including cancer. And we don't have to do a lot. They are simple measures. Some of them are quite a lot of fun to do. And there's more good news. A lot of research is going on into understanding, preventing, treating, and curing cancer. And I'm going to make sure that we share all that information with you. And this research would enable us one day to conquer cancer for good. My name is Dr. Khan. I'm an oncologist working in the United Kingdom. And my aim is to help everyone understand, prevent, treat, and cure cancer. And that's what Killing Cancer Kindly is intended to do. I invite you to join me in this mission and help spread the message. By doing so, we can prevent 50% of the cancers from happening by helping our bodies kill them before they spread.
Thank you very much for listening. Please share the news and spread it as far as you can. That's all for now. So it's goodbye till we meet again. May you and your loved ones always stay healthy and live a long life. Amen.